Hi guys and welcome to another episode of The Art of Eta. In today's video I want to share with you everything I've been sketching during holiday. If you've seen the previous video or not, I've been in Hungary uh, to where my parents-in-law are and uh, yeah for now more than three weeks we will be leaving in just a couple of days and i will be so busy that i won't be uh, sketching anymore but um yeah this is what i've done so far and uh i think apart from two sketching I didn't really show you anything and the reason why is I don't have my tripod with me and everything is very shaky and I really don't want to give you that experience so uh, I show you different things and yeah hopefully this video is not too shaky as well but yeah let's start Anyway, the introduction, I always forget, if you guys don't know me, I'm Antonietta and in this channel I'm sharing a lot of um, unboxing video, art challenges, art supplies and a little bit of my personal uh, Etsy shop personal small business so let's start immediately this is the sketchbook i've been using it's 72 sheets like which means more than way more than 100 pages and some of them i did back and forth some of them just one side and uh, yeah i did a good amount of it um so 130 gram is perforated and has a spiral bound which i love it a very simple sketchbook this is an a5 size so the first one is quite peculiar and the reason why is my baby is 18 months and sometimes he just loves to grab a pencil and sketch around uh, so you can see all this is uh, my baby artwork uh, and um, even if it's just a sketching pencil there is a part of me that really doesn't want to delay his uh, artwork so i try to just create around it so it's still visible uh, but yeah i think if you just look it's kind of cover it and then i was like okay i it's a bit messy as a sketch i can just write my channel name and use it as official start of my sketchbook so this is the first page a little bit messy as a second page i didn't know what to draw and this is the only one that i asked google <laughs> for some drawing idea just to get started and to get some inspiration i loved this one so i decided to replicate it in my sketchbook and next one instead i didn't want to stay on my phone looking at the reference picture all the time so my mother-in-law had also this plant upstairs and i decided to uh, try to replicate it but, um, yeah i'm not too <laughs> happy about this sketch it's a very low quality but it's it's okay sometimes i was just sketching to keep my wrist warm and i had time to do it uh this i loved it is also one of the plants of my mother-in-law uh, she has this plant outside and this is like the new grow of the plant and the flower already here facing backwards and this huge massive leaf so i found it was gorgeous and i wanted to replicate it and i try to leave you just the real image here on the side wherever possible um i have to say this is only color pencil work and the reason why is because I only took color pencil with me. I didn't believe I would have any time at all to do any sort of sketching. Um, because last time my baby was still very young and it wanted to be only with me. But this time I was so impressed that baby actually stay with his grandparents 
all of the time so i finally had so much time to sketch uh, but i only had a color pencil so and a limited limited amount of color pencils so this is what i managed to do with color pencil i'm actually really proud of it and guys i am thinking to turn this either into a print or a sticker because i really love how the color are and how they blend together so let me know in the comment there are a few of these drawing that i'm thinking to add to my etsy shop um as a sticker or as a print let me know if this will be a good idea or it's not something you would like me to put out um so i'll write here a number for the uh, drawing that i think it may uh, actually become something else and uh, yeah let me know in the comment uh, which numbers you think i should uh, go forward with uh, i would like to pick maybe three no more um, there is this other one this is actually for a reference picture that i took when i was still in england i took quite a few reference picture before to come in holiday this was one of that and yeah i wanted to replicate and this is what came out um, so i like the color um, but i think altogether um it could have been better i don't know but i do like the color how they blend together Change of setting, my partner is back with the baby, so I try to hide myself as long as possible. So, of this page, let's go in order. The first thing we did was this swatch. I went to a local art store and I bought three acrylic and three watercolor with other stuff. You can check the video uh, link in the description box. Also, here there is some beautiful wildlife. Uh, lots of different butterfly that I really cannot catch in my camera. Uh, but So I was obsessed with drawing butterflies. So I decided to continue using this page, uh, sketching out butterflies. And this is just some uh, color blending that I was testing out before to do in the final one. And the final one is actually uh, the page behind I'll show you in a second and this instead is a sketch that start while I was doing Sudoku. This is not really my style but I was looking for something just black and white to do because coloring it took quite a bit of time and I also wanted to experience a different sort of style. So here I've been sketching some idea for um, uh, this more... I don't know abstract style it could be yes and uh, how to draw the leaves uh, so yeah that's um this is the first page where i used the sketchbook uh it actually should be used for sketching um yeah and uh, here we have it those are the uh, butterfly that i went for and i think they will make a quite cute stickers but i don't know let me know guys uh, i especially like this one quite a lot this one in the beginning i didn't like how um the color that i use so then i just jump on top with different colors and i now like the final result honestly here i was again try to draw from nature and uh, okay focus this actually i film it this i film it i link the video down below and here i was just making a quick sketch and then i was trying to understand how i want the leaves to go compared to the main flower and this just didn't call for me this way and i was just testing different things and such and here as well i was just trying okay so maybe i should let the leaves go into this other uh, side and a quick last final sketch and um, 
point is I'm quite heavy handed with my color. So usually the back page has a lot of lines and sometimes even a page after. So mainly this part of the page will be used just for sketching or nothing at all. And doing my final artwork on this page. So if you want to see more how I made this one is linked down in the description. And I'm actually very, very proud of this thing. And this one, I was just in my bedroom. I wanted to do something but without being committed too much. And I wanted something to be just very light because I didn't want to ruin the previous artwork until I have time to scan it into my laptop. Uh, so I did <laughs> this Pluto. It was printed on a bag. And uh, yeah, so I did this one. Uh, yeah, they're just a quick sketch, nothing else. Uh, here, this page is actually quite interesting. I was trying to replicate this abstract work that I started in my Sudoku, this one. Uh, but it just came out wrong. So I delayed erase everything, but I don't have a good eraser with me. So just stain. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try to save it anyway and do something completely different. And this is what I did. And then I just used um, the watercolor I bought to add a little touch of color. And I actually am quite happy with the final result. Um, uh, yeah, so when in England, I'm going to take a proper eraser and try to fix it up. And... This is what I was going for. This is my final abstract artwork. I, I don't know what style it is. Like if you know, let me know uh, in the comment. Um, but yeah, simple, uh, black and white. Um, and I think this will be an amazing print and an amazing sticker. Um, but like, guys, let me know what you think. Here I wanted to just do some quick sketch and the only reference i had in life without i have to look at my phone it was the art supply that i just bought uh, in the local art store so i replicated the acrylic and the watercolor and the brush and the color pencil and I try to also do some uh, quick sketchbook drawing uh, and uh, other art supply that I didn't have with me. And then I am terrible in calligraphy. So um, yeah, time to time I just try to Google how to <laughs> write decently. And I was trying to see like how uh, art material would look with my brand name. Yeah, you know. Planning ahead, yeah, here I was more obsessed with the idea of art supplies and um, a coffee mug. I'll come back later to the coffee mug. Uh, yeah, this was some more sketching of the art supply. And I did it because I was thinking like it would be an amazing sticker. And I actually decided to use my acrylic on it and watercolor. It's not a watercolor paper. Yes, I know. And also I had just a very detailed uh, brush, which make it so hard to get a good effect. So I'm now to place with the final result so that I did it again in the next page. But then after it dry, I look back again and I thought, you know, maybe I go home and I have a couple of extra color to add and it may not look too bad. Yeah, and this is the other that I try with just color pencil, hoping it will look better. But still, I'm not placed with it. <laughs> so... Yeah, I just gave up. Like, I don't know. Uh, this, I did it with watercolor. Yes, it's not watercolor paper, but it can hold a little bit of water. And these are the only three color watercolor I had. And I was so fed up to use color pencil. I wanted to use something different. So I 
went for it and i am so so pleased with this draw so pleased i loved it i love it so much and uh, yeah i'm very happy with it here i i i'll show you this one first so this is the coffee mug that i've been sketching before and this is uh, uh, probably the first is the first draw where um it's a mixed media. I use a, a color pencil, I use a watercolor, and I use acrylic watercolor a bit uh, everywhere on top of color pencil. And I love so much the final effect. Honestly, I am super happy. I think this is one of the sketching in this sketchbook that I love the most. I'm so, so pleased that I got to create this and... I'm very very glad i'm very glad um so this mushroom is a sketch for a video that i made uh that is linked below and the final sketch is actually later on this is part of the view from the uh garden where my parents-in-law live and i just wanted to do something quick while i was sitting outside so i did this one also this is a rose from the garden that i quickly color with color pencil and i use my pen red pen and i think the black blue pen in here um yeah and i just did something quick and I, I like it this is such a pretty pretty page what else do we have in here okay this is start like a total disaster as i said i was trying very hard to use a different medium than color pencil but i had as i said a very detailed brush and this is not a watercolor page so it cannot hold a lot of water but still i wanted to try and i start with watercolor here and here and here and the, i was destroying the page it was a total disaster and i just left it like it was and then it dry and i come back and all the pieces of the page went away so i decided to try to save it and still create something with the color pencil and this is the final result it's not the prettiest thing but i think that i saved it so i saved this page <laughs> but yeah it's so pretty uh so here it's just me say thank you to my daily hiking path that ends up on top of a hill where there is this tower and yeah i work here um, the majority of the day maybe not every day but the majority of it so i went to do a quick sketch of the towel that i will see every day and um, yeah grateful for the hiking path that kept my legs moving and this uh, i just wanted to keep my wrist warm while i was watching a youtube video and uh, use pens and um, different kind of pens and different kind of uh, color pencil um, uh, yeah i created this this i don't know i don't know how to name it um, uh, this is the sketch, the final sketch that was in the video that I filmed for you guys where I was testing different uh, tone paper. Uh, here I put the tissue because I use acrylic. So again, I was trying to change medium, but because I'm thinking to turn this into a sticker, I didn't want the acrylic to ruin it at all. The only three color acrylic I have is uh, this yellow, this dark uh, gray, and this green. And all I could create was this one with, again, the detail brush. Um, I actually like it. I know it looks weird, but... I actually like it and uh, probably won't do anything with it but i'm happy is inside this sketchbook 
Uh, this one also from the garden, quickly uh, with a pen uh, instead of the color pencil. Uh, um, I did it in just a couple of minutes uh, and just a sketch from the garden. Uh, this also from the garden. Uh, there are so many beautiful flowers in this garden uh, and I just took one of the flower and I let it inspire me and I'm super happy with the final result and with the color how they blend together is super super happy here also is uh, a view another part of the view from the garden uh, so as you see my mother-in-law has a lot of plants all over the garden uh, grass flower this is the neighbor house and there is just a lot to uh, green so i was sitting in here and this was my view and this is the first page that i actually get to fill up all of it this also a flower from the garden and i thought i wanted to do just a very quick sketch so i did it on the back of a page uh but yes uh, yeah in the end i end up loving it but i was like oh no this page has so many lines because i've been pressing with the color of the previous page so i don't think that it's worth to go with the color in and then probably if i print it it's gonna see all the line so i just left it as a sketch and if you guys love it i may replicate it with some color or just black and white um, here I was quickly sketching some eyes and wasting some time while my baby was sleeping and I was just keeping an eye on him. I actually love this last one and I like this one. Uh, my least favorite definitely this one and this one. Uh, yeah, I like this one as well. I'm just, you know, practicing and yeah this also while i was keeping an eye on my baby not to fall off the bed this is another view from the room another neighbor house and yeah just a quick sketch on the back here i don't know what i was doing i was trying to use again the watercolor but without having any idea at all so i just end up playing with it and fill up the page <laughs> it means nothing ah okay so we are already at the end guys this is the last sketch draw and again this is one of the flower from the garden and then from this flower i just got inspired to create the rest i like it i'm very happy with it and yeah let me know guys if any of these you think i should be adding it to the st uh, store or not but yeah i would like to add definitely stickers as next step and maybe something else for now, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. And the next video will be filmed in England. And we are back with an art challenge. See you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>